My name is Brittany Andrelanis, and this is a little bit of my story. My introduction to Oklahoma City Community Church really began about two years ago when I was going through a divorce and my coworker, Julie, had been coming to church here for a while. And she invited me to a single mom's um, event at Arise Ministries. At that event, I met Katie Ellis, who um, leads a small group here for single moms. And so since then, we have met every other Thursday um, for the last two years. About the last year or so, I have really been called and pulled to finding a church home. Um, I hadn't stepped foot in a church in over a year. Just going into church by myself felt really lonely. Um, still hearing the word divorced, I, I, my chest gets tight. There's this sense of shame, but not, not here, not in the prayer room, not with that group. Fast forward to January of this year. It was a Saturday night before we had planned on coming to Oklahoma City Community Church. And my eight-year-old, um, she was getting very nervous. And so we have learned to deal with those feelings through art therapy. And so we started drawing. And um, she drew something that I have never seen her draw before. So I asked her what the red and the blue meant. And she said, well, this is fire and ice. This is good and bad. And so we just prayed about our time at um, the church the next day. On January 8th, I came to Oklahoma City Community Church for the first time on a Sunday. So when I walk in, I see this on my chair. And in that moment, it was just me and the Lord. And it was just a sweet, sweet love letter from Him. Um, and right after that, I feel this hand on my shoulder welcoming me, and it's Julie, who is the one who invited me here two years ago. And so in that moment, I just, it was like a year of shame and fear of going into church alone was just white. On Thursday, um, we had our group, and at the end, Mel said, I want to know what you're asking God today. And she said, next, next time we meet, I want you to open the word and find scripture that answers your question. My question is where, where are you, God? Where have you been? Has this last year just of suffering, why? And um, on Sunday, I ended up sitting by Mel. And so of course I replayed my homework um, and the scripture that came to mind was um, the old Southern Baptist hymnal of how deep and wide and far um, is the love of God. And I just, I was like, okay, I'm going to go home, Google it. I'll know it. I went and picked up my four-year-old who the Lord already wrote a love letter through my eight-year-old. And I pick up my four-year-old and February's memory verse is how wide and long and how high and deep is the love of Christ. And so after just a year of suffering and feeling really alone, the Lord orchestrated all of this. And it took just a little February memory verse and the church bulletin for the Lord just to open my eyes. I believe that God still works in supernatural ways, but it had been a while since I felt his presence or heard his voice or even supernaturally a, a love letter from only Jesus, only God that I am the only one that would understand. Keep encouraging and keep inviting because if I didn't have people in my corner and rooting me on and encouraging me to come to church, I don't know if I would have been here on a Sunday. Being able to worship with the body for the first time in over a year is, I mean, I won't recommend it, but like when, woo, distance makes the heart grow fonder because, woo, he showed up. So it's good.